I once heard that there was a player so powerful that when defenders saw him, they they just ran away. So I had to try this god for myself. Yep. Guys, it's me, Carl and Bro's foot, and we all know who I was talking about. Indeed, the man himself, Peniel Mlapa, the beast himself. He is so amazing. I didn't even use him for so many games, but in the few games that I used him, I was convinced that this guy could be one of the best silver strikers in the game. He has 84 pace, 67 shooting, 64 passing, 73 dribbling, 50 defending, 71 heading. Absolutely amazing stats. His dribbling is great. The only problem with it is that he has quite low agility, so it is a bit hard to turn with him. But on the other hand, his good dribbling sort of equalizes that. 71 heading, I didn't really head too much with him. I just abused those shots of his and that clinical finishing of his and with that 85 strength and that 87 sprint speed defenders have serious trouble with him you know in most game in the games that I used him they just stopped trying they just ran away they they were tired of their job they wanted to I don't know be a garbage collector or something because they did not want to face this beast Peniolum Lapa and you know he looks so happy in his card picture he looks like a happy man in his happy life, but if you play against him on the field, you will not be happy, because he will completely destroy you, he will take you, turn you inside out, throw you on the ground, and then score. Yes, he will. He is amazing. He is so, so good. I, I, I could not believe it. He is so good. Now, there is one flaw, and this flaw is a big flaw, because it takes away from his awesomeness, which is too bad. Now, I picked him up for 40k. 40k. Yes, yes, yes. I play on PC. Prices are warped. Prices are high. What can I say? I still have a fair amount of cash. I still have some money in my pocket. Uh, but that's, that is my one... That is the one big flaw with Mlapa. You know, once you use him in-game, he is amazing. And if you're rich, you know, if you have a few hundred K, you know, if you have 200 K, even 150 K, even 100 K, pick him up if you have a Bundesliga squad, because he's amazing. The problem is, though, if you're poor, if you don't have a lot of money and, you know, you're going to spend your last penny on him, then I would say I'm honestly going to say don't get him, because if you're stuck there with, you know, 20 K and you're using your last penny to get him, just pick up someone like Mlapa, uh, not Mlapa, Jesus, what am I saying? Akpala, here, because Akpala's good too. You know, qualitatively, I like Mlapa more, but Akpala, in value for money, definitely tops Mlapa. Or someone like Dembele, you know, for 950 coins, just to sort of be the middleman and score you a bunch of goals, and then maybe you can pick up Mlapa. Because I feel like Mlapa is an absolutely amazing player. He is such a boss on the field. But, you know, he's the rich, you know, he's the rich man's, you know, the rich man's man. I know that's an absolutely horrible, stupid sentence. It, it just sounds like a dumb sentence. The rich man's man. Yeah, that sounds pretty stupid. But it, the point is made that he is amazing, but he's for the rich, you know, he's like Chiellini, you know, nobody can top Chiellini because he's a boss, well, the only person who can top Chiellini is a Mappa, but, you know, if you can't, if you're gonna spend your last penny on Chiellini, don't do it, just pick up Ogbonna or Gamberini, because even though they're not as good as Chiellini, you know, you can still buy some other players and work your way up there, you know, for 40k, or in on, on, I think, Xbox, which is the cheapest. He goes for, like, 20k in Lapa. You know, you can build yourself a cheap Bundesliga squad for that money. This squad here, if I put an S-Vine instead of a Lapa, this squad will cost you about 20-25k. 
And, you know, in the end effect, it's your choice if you want to spend it on a squad or on a player. But I'm just going to go out and say that he is an absolute gem, an absolutely amazing player to use. But his price really does... The price, his price, you know, takes away from it. You know, if I pick this guy up for like 6K, I could say that he's the best player in the game, value for money-wise. Because he is a beast on the field, but his price just takes away from the hype. Because, you know, 40K is a lot of money to pay for one player. But still, I liked him a lot, and I think that he is a fantastic player.